Kwentong Bayani Kwentong Bayani Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat ng Sabado Ako po si Radyo Man Jenny Pahilanga Ang programang ito atin po sa atin ng RMN at ng BCYM Siyempre kasama po, magkasama kami dito ni Partner Jojo Armenta Ayan, kung nandiyan na si Partner Jojo Partner, magandang umaga Ayan, ang tabay tayo Good morning sa iyo Kamusta partner? Narinig niyo ba ako? Loud and clear, partner Jojo. Kumusta? Okay. Good morning. Magandang magandang umaga po ng Sabado sa inyong lahat. Sa mga nakikinig at nanonood. Good morning, partner Jenny. A beautiful sunny day. Today. Yes. At September 16 na 2023, grabe kalahating buwan na tayo ng Septyembre. Mm-hmm. Yes. At pinag-uusapan po mali natin, uh, partner Jenny, no? we're celebrating the Philippine Social Responsibility Month mm-hmm. ng BCYF ngayong Septyembre. So we're still talking about um, inspire, the sharing the inspiring stories of young people like us mm-hmm. na pwede natin, pwede natin ibahagi sa ating mga nakikinig at nanonood ngayong umaga. Oh, oh. At bago natin introduce partner ang ating mga panauhin sa umaga ito, congratulations kagabi sa ginanap na awards night, no? Yes, Award EA. Oo, oh, oh. oh, oh, the Developmental Social Enterprise Award. Nakita yes. ko kayo mga photos, no? Oh, oh. So, ano, makakasama natin sila next week. Next week, partner, abangan oh, natin. Week, abangan yeah. natin yan yung mga nanalo for the Developmental Social Enterprise Award for 2023. Oo, oh, oh. and congrats sa lahat na nandun kagabi. Of course, uh, si Sir Tony Yap nandun. And the yes. uh, chairman po of the committee, si uh, Chairman uh, Eric Kanoy. Ayan. And also si Ma'am Erica, nandun din partner kagabi. Lahat at uh, congrats sa mga nanalo. Congratulations sa ating BCYF family. Oo, oo, talaga naman. Very successful. Napakaganda. Congrats po. At sa umagang ito, partner, ang ating mga magiging panauhin. Ayan, syempre. Yes. Siko, okay, pakalala ko na, meron tayong dalawang panauhin ngayong mm-hmm. umaga, partner. No? Ipakiunahin ko na ladies first. Ang ating um, first guest for this morning. Um, She's an educator, a chocolate artisan, cacao grafter, and social entrepreneur, and a farmer. So, nagmula pa siya, I believe, sa, um, sa Mindanao, no? Mm-hmm. Um, fourth placer at the concluded third Ranao Project Grant Program of Lanao del Sur mm-hmm. in partnership with the Philippine Business for Social Progress. An alumna of Youth Collab. Um, Youth Collab is a co-led by United Nations Development Program and City Foundation. So ito yung isa sa mga pinakamalaking youth-led movement in Asia Pacific that aims to empower and invest in young people. So also, she accelerated by the SPARK Project in partnership with Sasakawa Peace Foundation. So SPARK Project naman is the first and only crowdfunding website and community for creative startups and social entrepreneurs in the Philippines. Ati po unang guest is the founder of Cacao Meranao, Siti Isa C- uh, Balt. So, good morning, Siti. Morning, yeah, assalamu alaikum and oh, good morning. Alaikum. Yeah, you can call me Siti po, po, in short na lang. Ay, yung galing po po ako ng Marawi City. Yeah, I traveled oh. yesterday. Yeah, so that, kasi ang internet connection there is so unstable. That's why oh. hindi. And thank you po for inviting me. Oh, naman. We're so happy that you're Lakas here this naman. morning with us. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Siti, to um, Kwentong Bayani. Okay, ipakilala naman natin ang ating pangalawang Siti guest partner, partner no? Mm. So, our ating second guest is a uh, So, the founder and chief executive wait na mm-hmm. let me Ayan. Mm-hmm. So, our ating second guest is the founder and chief executive officer of Philippine Accessible Disability Services Incorporated. Naging uh, team manager din siya at present ng PADS or PADS Adoptive Dragon Boat Team. Mm-hmm. Philippine para Dragon Elite Team. Wow! And naging chairman siya and event organizer na first to Dela Dragon Boat Exhibition Race in 2021 sa Camotes Island. So, our ating pong makasama isang registered nurse. Walang iba kundi si John Paul. No, wala yung aking ano. No. John Paul. Tama pa ito ating 
Sir John Ibenhead. Paul. Okay, ayan. Yeah, John Paul Maunes. Maunes. Ayan. Oo, oh, oh. founder good morning, and chief executive. Good morning, John. JP. Yeah. Sir JP, hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Ayan, okay. Ang tipid ng bati ni Sir JP, ano. <laughs> okay. So, part of umpisa na natin. Welcome, Miss uh, oh, City na lang, ano. Can I call you City and uh, yes, yes. JP? Okay. Ito, kadalasan namin tinatanong to. The start of the program, City and uh, JP. Ibahagi niyo po sa amin sa kwentong bayani ngayong umagang ito sa mga nanonood at nakikinig po live. Ang inyo pong pinaka-vision and mission. Maari ho ba namin malaman o pakibahagi po sa amin ng inyong advokasya. Ladies first, Miss City. Um, Assalamu alaikum once again. So I am Siti Aisabot, the project head and founder of Cacao Now. So basically, we are the pioneering chocolate bar producer in Lanao del Sur. So what we did is we trained local farmers to do the output planting of the cacao, uh, harvesting, and also the per- fermentation of the cacao up to the actual chocolate bar making and in on the other hand doon naman sa paggawa ng chocolate we are hiring uh youth from different school in Marawi City uh so that makaka-generate din sila ng income so our mission really is at first my mission is only to help my father how can this plants in our backyard to generate an income and lumaki yung mission ko is that to help our the other local farmers there on how can they uh acquire knowledge and skills on making uh, chocolates and in our vision we want the cacao now as now that we can do something not only in our locals but we can pwede namin siyang uh, ipakita around the world that there is a cacao farming and there is a what meron kaming product na cacao now na pwede namin ipakita around the world and Nandoon din sa aming cacao now that it's not only a product but also andun yung culture namin na uh, ganito pala yung Maranao. Mm-hmm. So yan po. Okay, so for the na for the youth, no. Umpisa sa father lang niya, partner and uh, Sir JP si Ma'am City, but now marami na siyang natutulungan. Thank you po, Ma'am. Sir JP. Sige po. At we started Pads in 2005, uh, back when we were in college, uh, with the vision of achieving uh, a disability in society. So our mission is to uh, people with disabilities uh, to become independent, with uh, human, Sir, Sir JP, excuse po. Pwede pong ilapit na lang natin yung ano, sa mouth? Medyo po malayo, malayo, hindi po masyadong maliwanag yung ating pagpapaliwanag. Ayan, para po malinaw. Sige nga po. Hello? Ayan, very loud and clear. Kasi guwapo mo na yung ano, yung okay. uh, natatawa tulo si sir. Araw ayaw niya tanggapin. <laughs> Kasi guwapo mo na sir. Sige po, pakiulit po sir. Go ahead po. Uh, so, uh, we started PADS in 2005 uh, sa volunteering program. And uh, with the mission of um, empowering people with disabilities as independent, uh, fully human, and uh, productive citizens in our society, uh, we want to achieve that vision of a, uh, of a disability inclusive Filipino society. Um, our uh, over the years uh, really work on um, access to participation and uh, access accessibility. Uh, in 2016, uh, we shifted. Uh, we had a paradigm shift uh, on our focus uh, towards uh, developing uh, or increasing the participation of people with disabilities through adaptive sports and recreational rehabilitation. Mm-hmm. Uh, we wanted uh, to emphasize on the importance of uh, the right to play, because ito po yung uh, uh, mm-hmm. Most of the time, no, uh, we all we, we take this for granted. You know, for a person with disability who has been uh, on in, in the on the bench, no, uh, mm-hmm. watching, uh, bagay po itong uh, uh, and then uh, we wanted to strengthen uh, the DOH program on uh, community-based rehabilitation. Kaya uh, we eight uh, platforms for people with disability to. Uh, 
be part of uh, sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, so in 2016, because we struggled pa tayo nun, kasi, uh, we realized that uh, you know, uh, building uh, a sports program for people with disabilities mm-hmm. is one thing. The other thing is that uh, uh, yung pag-purchase no, ng mga equipments like the uh, you know, wheelchairs. Mm-hmm. So it's been challenging. Kaya in Cebu, we realized that uh, uh, we discovered that uh, Dragon Boat was a was a was a evolving sport, uh, emerging sport boat. So we we started to uh, uh, develop a uh, sports program for uh, Dragon Boat racing. Kaya uh, we were able to set up uh, a Dragon Boat program for for disabilities. And uh, uh, in the past uh, few years, we were able to. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, a few months ago, mm-hmm. oh, no, uh, just a few weeks ago, we, the team uh, went to Thailand mm-hmm. uh, to compete for the World Dragon Boat Racing Championship, in which wow. uh, we were able to to win no, the World Championship Congrats. with six gold medals, uh, five silvers, and uh, eight bronze. Uh, pero during the pandemic, we realized na. Uh, in times of disaster and calamities, uh, uh, yung unang na 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 uh, the displaced, no, are people with disabilities. Kaya majority of uh, our members mm-hmm. uh, nawala ng trabaho and cannot access to uh, support, no, from the government. So uh, me and my wife, she's here. Hi, <laughs> here, uh, hello. <laughs> we able to uh, accidentally uh, we set up a, a, a small business. Called Dubby's Ultimate Burgers, which uh, all of our athletes, you know, we hired them to to work for us, uh, and uh, we're able to uh, so sustain, no, uh, yung, uh, uh, and support them during the pandemic. And uh, uh, we wanted also, kasi, uh, na magiging sustainable yung program natin sa sports uh, through pads and uh, uh, nagiging we were able to, uh, in a way, directly hire our uh, our athletes and uh, and members uh, in the disability sector uh, to work for uh, WS Burgers. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, partner pala, si Sir, ano naman, uh, John JP, ay uh, more on sa mga may disability, no? Na talagang tinutunan yeah. nila. Mm-hmm. Yun nga, kasi part na magkaiba sila ng atake, no? Oh, like, oh. Um, helping helping um different community like si si John si JP sa si mga disabled mm-hmm. si um um city si city naman is more on the farmer side oh, oh. No? and students so, din like, explain, mm-hmm. yeah explain me ano ni JP yung mm-hmm. yung how they specifically target or impact the community no mm-hmm. how about si city Parang um, when you guys started the cacao and this um, enterprise, how does it directly impact the community that you guys are helping? So I know actually um, at first it was just a I just want to help my father yeah, and parang kasi ngayon is that more farmers not only in our locals wants to join plant cacao mm-hmm. planting and also in other municipalities they want to join and mm-hmm. yeah and there are yeah meron na din kaming na help from from Batangas that he, she wants to 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 do chocolate production so ang ginawa namin is we went there and then in assess namin yung farm uh, nila and then gumawa kami ng chocolate so mm-hmm. back naman doon sa amin is that ang ginawa namin is we started from from sa pinaka ano yung pwede namin magawa. So, ang ginawa natin is from last year we did the the planting of the seedlings and also to enhance more is nag-join kami ng different seminars and trainings not only through online platform but also what we did is nagpunta din kami to I want to Bohol to join the cacao trainings so, uh, different cacao trainings para kasi you want to learn more and to know more and talaga yung process ng paggawa ng chocolates and paano siya ipresent na uh, it can be presentable na sa mga consumers natin and also yeah uh, from there 
marami yung kumukontak sa amin that they want paano daw namin sila mga help. So, yeah, like, ang nagawa namin last year is that there is a, may na, nabigay sa amin na 36,000 seedlings, cacao seedlings. Ang ginawa namin is we distributed it to different local farmers na gusto nila. But before namin yun, binigay sa kanila is we conducted a one-day orientation on how, paano gawin yung pagpaplant ng cacao and then ano yung kailangan nilang gawin para alagaan yun in the long run. Kasi ang cacao is very, kung sa akin, i- medyo ano siya eh, crucial siya. Mm-hmm. Kailangan mo siyang linisan in every three months para uh, mas madali siyang lumaki. Mm-hmm. And also, uh, we are still partnering with different agencies and also, yung ngayon, yung crowdfunding namin kasi we also found out na kapag binigyan, uh, kapag ang tinanim mo is this, this, this kind of variety, ang maganda kasing variety ngayon is the BR25 and the BR W10, which is, wala kami kasi ngayon eh. Ang, yun, in the crowdfunding, what we are going to do is, uh, ang ipropagate namin are the, the BR25 and the W10. Yun yung gagawin namin. And also, doon naman sa mga youth is, uh, we are very thankful na we can, na, nakakakuha kami ng kahit na thank you is very, ang laki-laki na yun na impact sa amin na sinasabi nila sa amin, thank you for accepting us because of this nakapag-aral kami at nakapagtapos kami yun yung isang pinakamalaking bagay na uh, we are very thankful of na we are all already impacting yung mga youth na tinutulungan namin right now and even ngayon uh, kasi ano ngayon eh, medyo low season ang ang chocolate uh, ang chocolate kasi uh, papasok naman na malaki yung benta is on uh, on itong Vermont. So yeah, right now, even maliit lang yung mga uh, uh, sales namin is we are doing our best doing and we are uh, ginagawa namin yung social media para malaki yung maging sales namin. Wow. Galing, no? Nandiyan ka ni Sample, pinakita sa atin ni, ni uh, Kuya Rod. Yeah. Oo, oh, 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 yung mga, yung oh, pala yung hirap. cacao. Ano, mahirap talaga nga, mahirap nga talaga magpalaki ng cacao eh, no? Mm-hmm. Kaya yung mga nagpapalaki nga talaga very patient in life. Every three months pala, no? Nililinis pa. Yun, sample yan, partner. Oh, wow. Oh, yan, pala ang cacao. Okay. So yan, mga, ayun, tumatanggap na sila ng ano dyan. Okay, mga farmers natin. Okay, thank you. Yan, yes, partner? Yes. So actually, pinag-uusapan natin ngayon is um, talking about, kasi we're celebrating Philippine Social Responsibility mm-hmm. Month, di ba? Nag-mention ko kanina. And we want to emphasize on volunteerism and social responsibility. So, so ang question naman namin ngayon for JP and um, CT is how do you think your organization contribute in advocating volunteerism and personal social responsibility? Pero bago nila sagutin yan, partner, <laughs> bago po nila sagutin yan ang ating uh, hanging question with our partner, Jojo Armenta, huwag po kayong aalis kasama pa rin natin si City and the JP sa umagang ito. Partner, tayo mo yung magbibigay daan sa ating ilang paalaala. Babalik po agad ang programang Kwentong Bayani. Bayani. Oras po natin, 10.33, tuloy-tuloy pa rin tayo. Kwentong Bayani ngayong araw nito ito ng Sabado, September 16, 2023. Makasama pa rin po kami ang inyong Radyo Mon, Jenny Pahilanga at syempre si partner Jojo Armenta. By the way, partner, no invite lang natin sila. Paki-like and share po yung aming programang Kwentong Bayani sa DZXL558. RMN Manila at syempre yung aming Facebook and Twitter at YouTube account po TikTok DZXL News Kasama pa rin natin partner ating mga panauhin na sina Yes, si City Vault mula pa sa Maranao no, ng Kakao Maranao at JP Maunes of PADS um, Philippine Accessible for Disability Services Incorporated Wow, nasa ulo ko yun Galing <laughs> Wow. So, welcome again, JP and CT. We're so honored that you guys are here with us this morning. Tumabalik tayo sa ating um, Hanging topic. question no? mo. Oh, oh. Yes. Ang ating nabitin. Kasi nga, we're celebrating the Philippine Social Responsibility Month for the month of September. So, ang ating question ay, how does your organization contribute para ma-advocate pa yung volunteerism and personal social responsibility? Unahin natin si JP. Sir JP. 
Um, well, our four programs are really anchored on volunteerism. So, uh, majority of our coaches, um, our trainers, are are volunteers. So, uh, they come from the different universities, hospitals, and dito uh, to ensure now uh, we were able to. Uh, uh, provide our utmost uh, services sa uh, lahat ng mga members natin. Uh, we believe na uh, for a team to be successful, uh, the community should, should take ownership of the team. So uh, we, we encourage uh, mga experts natin sa community uh, to contribute para sa development ng ating mga programa. Uh, on the other hand, uh, sa Davis naman, um, yung mga consultant natin na uh, we are really uh, offering our uh, expertise uh, para ma, ma develop yung mga plan natin, yung mga marketing and promotions natin sa, sa Dabis, para uh, uh, lahat ng mga uh, we, we value, on, we, we anchor it on volunteerism. Kasi uh, we want it to be more sustainable. Uh, we want it to activate citizenship. And... Uh, also, through volunteerism, we believe na it can contribute to nation building. So, yun, uh, uh, we are very happy na very warm po yung uh, pagtanggap ng community. Uh, and uh, the, the Cebuano community po, uh, they're very uh, supportive of all our advocacy efforts. Okay. Galing. Yeah, oh, thank you. Me. Yeah, so, yeah. We contribute to volunteerism. Yeah, um, balik pa din sa father ko. So, yeah, like, uh, nung, uh, nung ako nung papa ko, how the certain dean will generate an, in, in, an income. Ang ginawa ko is, I, I was the one to volunteer na, sige, gawan ko ng paraan, hanap ako sa YouTube on how to do this. And then, lumaki na siya ng lumaki that, uh, I want to help the local farmers. I want to help the barn. I want to help anyone who wants to join or who wants to uh, to go farming cacao. Ganun yung nangyari. Parang, parang ang saya-saya na makita mo na tumutulong ka with the people kahit na, in any, kahit na walang return. So parang ang nangyari is that it's not a business but how you impact mm-hmm. to the people around you. Paano mo makikita na ikaw pala ay uh, namumove mo pala yung ibang tao by doing this. And also, uh, through this also, nakikita ng mga tao na uh, pwede at kaya kanilang tulungan because you are doing this even in kahit na walang return. And also, uh, napakaganda is that nakakatulong ka at nai-empower mo yung mga local farmers na kaya pala natin tong gawin that this kasi in our place there are there are a lot of lands na hindi siya nagagamit into farming parang yeah, like 30 years na I was uh, pumupunta ako sa amin is that mm-hmm. may mga certain lands doon na hindi siya natatamnan which in fact pwede pala siyang tamnan ng mga mm-hmm. high valued crops and also through that um, makaka-generate sila ng income. So, yeah, what we are doing right now is that we are educating the locals na, yes, you can do this, we can do this, and we can have, we can generate more income. Mm-hmm. And, uh, kaya natin to. And, yeah, by also, uh, ang ginawa ko din was that, through my uh, own initiative, gumawa, uh, nag-join ako, yeah, what I've said earlier is, gumo, uh, nag-join ako ng mga seminars and trainings na uh, outside uh, our kasi malayo eh, that was in Bohol and in Davao, nag-join ako noon and ang pinakalaki is that I found my uh, nakita ko yung mentor ko de- there, kinuwento ko ano yung ginagawa ko and then magkapareho pala kami ng kwento and also uh, after that is tinuruan niya ako paano para maging, kasi ang hirap gumawa ng chocolate po, uh, manually, mahirap gumawa. And uh, I was so lucky to meet this uh, mentor, si Sir Luis Sena. And he, he teach me paano gawin na mas hindi kami mahihirap on, on doing the chocolate production. So ano lang, uh, it's more on how are you going to impact and um, on how are you going to impact the locals. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, galing ah. Ganda nung packaging ni ano ha, ni uh, Ma'am City doon sa kanya. Yeah. Ano? Ah. Sino gumagawa ng ano niyo? Oh. Sino gumagawa ng artwork niyo, City? Kakao marana. Uh, so ano, before going to Thailand kasi, ano pa yan, parang it's a paper lang ginawa namin. So before going to Thailand, nag, uh, meron kaming nahanap na artist. He is, uh, she is uh, Mia Shindonilia. Uh, if you are familiar with the Mascara Festival right now, siya yung gumawa din ng logo nun. So, yeah, napakagaling na artist na ginawa niya yung uh, ano namin, incorporating with uh, the Merenau cultures na we have. Mm-hmm. Galing, galing, maganda yan. Thank you, Miss City. Now, uh, eto ha, Sir JP, ikaw din muna una. Alam mo yung mga kabataan natin ngayon, sabi natin tumataas talaga yung, uh, sabi nga, eh, lebe, yung level ano, ng digitalization. Ganun, ngayon, ganun na ngayon labanan eh. So sa pamamagitan yan, ano sa palagay mo, Sir JP, ano, ang mat- itutulong na ating mga kabataan sa social media, no, tumataas yung ating, sabi nga, eh, mga sumusuporta dyan sa dig- digitalization. Paano natin yung mga kabataan eh makatutulong no o makapagpo-promote sa iyong uh, organisasyon sa ginagawa mo rin pagdating sa pinag-uusapan nating volunteerism, sir? Nakamute kas. Yeah. Uh, social media is a very powerful platform ang uh, in, in amplifying mm. your story at uh, mm. saka ng story ng, ng mga taong na uh, Uh, we work uh, we in, we are engaging mm-hmm. uh, the power of youth uh, they're very uh, they're very active daming ideas uh, very creative so they can make use of those talents and skills through social media um, um, mm-hmm. Okay, sige medyo na gano'n siya. Sir JP? Uh, yes po. Okay, uh, go ahead. Um, um, active citizenship in in the digital age has, uh, has made uh, uh, has made a huge impact through social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi everyone has social media accounts eh. And uh, ang dali na lang i- i- i-amplify yung story mo uh, and uh, make people uh, be part of the, of your advocacy because of your social media, uh, of your social media platforms uh, the youth no alaking potential uh, i myself was started the advocacy when i was like in high school and uh, during those times medyo mahirap kasi yun uh, traditional yung mga approaches natin eh um, I remember making brochures, talking to people, pero right now, it's a, it's a, it's a different building because, uh, because of the power of social media. Um, you can yeah. expose a story and um, create a lot of uh, materials in social media, YouTube, videos, posters, like that, uh, just to get the message across. And uh, I think that's a very powerful tool uh, to activate uh, citizenship. Galing. Oo, oh, oh. partner. Sige. Partner, medyo ibahin natin yung talong kay Ma'am City. Ikaw na partner. Ayan. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hindi, gusto ko rin matanong yun kasi ano eh, um, she's selling a, she's selling a, a, a local product eh. Mm-hmm. And in the rise, in the rise of digitalization, how do you guys maximize, especially that you are in the part of area na very challenging ang gamit ng internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> diba? You agree with me. So, how does it, um, you know, how do you guys, how do you guys not really manipulate, but like, how do you guys maximize the use of social media to promote your product, to make it, you know, have a wider audience? Yes. So, yeah, when we found out the, the cacao or the chocolates that we're making, akala namin, We're going to sell only in Marawi City in that we don't need the the, the digital so, platform. Yeah. You need first kasi I guess parang for me because mahirap kasi yung internet sa amin. So for me parang mahirap kung itataka i ano namin siya to dig, online uh, to digital. So yun at first mahirap siya i-adapt for me kasi mahirap pag-upload ng videos in Marawi City kasi 
Napakabagal at sometimes hindi talaga siya ma-upload. So yeah, what we did is uh yun. Uh mga kapatid ko po. Yeah, yung isang kapatid ko, even she is in Saudi Arabia. She is the one pushing us to do the our Facebook Facebook page, our Instagram page, our TikTok page and even uh yon so siya yung siya yung number one na nagpo-push sa akin to do na i-online platform mo na kasi mas magiging wider yung range ng ng makakakita and also bibili and it's very true that when you all, when you post kahit na may day mo lang yan may magsasabi magkano yung magkano yung ganitong chocolates mo so for me digital is very very helpful nowadays kasi hindi ka makakakompete with other with other um uh, seller if wala kang digital platform and yeah and also uh what we did is nakipag partner kami with other local restaurants in Marawi City pero hindi pa din siya kaya kasi i guess mas malakas ang online and also even in TikTok mas malakas siya ngayon kasi post ka lang and then meron nang magko-comment na how much is this HM saan kami makakabili meron ba kayong yellow basket yun yung isang problem naman and then yeah Um, right now, we are focusing on our uh, Facebook and also on our Instagram uh, accounts. And also, because of the social media platform, nalaman ko yung about sa Youth Collab. Kasi you are excluded kapag hindi ka into digital. Mm-hmm. You are excluded. Hindi mo alam na there are so many, many, many opportunities in the digital world. Kasi ngayon, parang wala na mag-invite sa'yo na magbibigay ng letters sa'yo to join this program. So, ikaw mismo yung maghahanap ng platform mo saan ka mag-join. So, what I did is nag- Like ako ng UNDP, when I saw, when I follow the UNDP, ang daming programs there. And there are, may mga grand competition na pwede mo masalihan. E, kasi ang nangyari is that online lang ang lahat. You don't need to go there to join the grant program. So, um, it's a very, very good uh, na we are going digitally. Kasi kahit na andito ka remotely, pwede kang makapag-join isang competition. Yes po. Very good. Thank you, Miss City. Siguro the same question, Sir JP. Yan. Nakita din nga, natin ka din ang partner yung mga videos no, ni Sir JP. At salamat kay Sir Rod. Grabe yung training, no? Partner, nakita mo yon Yung mga kasama ni Sir, yung gulong, yung ano bang mga tawag dun. Grabe, ang galing. Ayan. So, Sir JP, pakisagot din yung uh, tanong sa atin ni partner. The same also with uh, Mama City. Um, laking bagay. Laking uh, bagay. Laking uh, bagay. digitalization social media kasi ah uh, particularly engaging into volunteerism Uh, alam mo, yung, well, it's it's hard to look for it's hard to look for uh, talent it's hard to look for uh, uh, mga consultants or, or anyone na uh, may specific skill but uh, with the digitalization uh, pwede na tayo someone from other parts like Manila who can volunteer for us here in Sydney uh, through online no? uh, Uh, paggawa ng for example paggawa ng mga ano mga posters or pag pagset pagsulat or even posting uh, they can do it remotely in their own homes um, also information has been very accessible with the with the internet so start uh city uh, said na uh, kung meron kang uh, information na kailangan mo Well, you don't have to consult somebody. Mm-hmm. You just have to scan to YouTube or Google and there's it. No? And, mm-hmm. uh, malaking, or if you want to look for a mentor, uh, you don't have to go to Manila or to another place. You can just call him or video chat. Ganun, um, nagiging nag-globalize po yung uh, volunteerism mm-hmm. and it, it makes our work easier. Uh, and then it, it saves a lot of cost. And uh, yung, yung impact ng mga story na uh, na-publish natin through the internet, 
uh, or maximizing the use of our social media page, malaki po yung reach niya no? uh, on, on a global scale. Before, we were just really dependent na at least ma-interview tayo sa radio or sa TV. Mm-hmm. But uh, posting... Yes, sir. Sir JP? Okay, medyo nagkakaroon ng ano, problem. But anyway, yeah, uh, Sir JP, thank you. Now, ano nang asahan natin, Ma'am City po, sa ano po ninyo, uh, Kakao Maranao in the uh, future or the, in the coming days po, lalo ngayon, Bermonts na. Ano po mga asahan natin, Ma'am? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, kasama doon sa crowdfunding kasi namin is that you have rewards. So, if if the certain backer were will going to fund us and then they will give c- certain money and then we can give them the 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 rewards or the chocolates na pwede nilang i for us and yeah so yun pala yung crowdfunding ng spark project will 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 start on the mid october so yun um meron kaming tinatawag na rewards so ang mga rewards namin ay yung chocolates namin also the cacao tea that we have and also the the tablaya the unsweetened chocolate uh yeah yeah so yon and also pwedeng magbacker ang certain person if they want to do it and also aside from that is we are still um doing the the chocolate production as uh, sa amin mm-hmm. um Yeah, tumatanggap pa din po kami ng orders online. Um, oh. Even, yeah, kahit medyo mahirap yung logistic naman because mm-hmm. we are coming from Marawi City and then yeah. going to Ligon. So, yeah, if maraming orders, mas less yung, yung mababawas on, the, on our logistic parts. And yeah, mm-hmm. uh, for our future plans is that, yun nga, itong crowdfunding na ginagawa po namin, hopefully by next year is mong start na siya. So that, um, uh, makagawa na kami ng seedling production and we can also give to the locals na who wants to to plant cacao and also yeah uh, napaka challenging kasi neto ngayon is that maraming kumokontakt sa amin outside na uh, the one is the deputy consul of of, of, of Nagoya was uh, contacted us and yeah gusto nila sana bumili and then maging customers from us yeah ang problema namin right now is wala kaming DFA and wala pa kaming FDA rather and wala pa kami halal certification so we are looking also on that na Uh-oh. sana uh, within this year magawa namin yung FDA and also the certification and uh, other mga papers kasi ano eh I thought kasi is social entrepreneurship is that I am just going to help the farmers yeah but in the long run is that it's, it's a sustainable business. Yeah, it's yeah, a business, a sustainable business. business. And uh, yeah, hopefully, mas marami pa kami matutulungan in the future. And and also, sana in the future, then makalabas na din kami ng Philippines. Yeah, nako darating kayo dyan, Ma'am yeah. City. Thank you, Ma'am City. Sir JP, what's next? Uh, project po or programs then sa inyo po namang uh, uh, ano to? Uh, Philippine Accessible Disability Services, Inc., sir. Um, we're trying to uh, build a, a rehab center uh, para uh, maging accessible ang rehab program and rehab services to all people with disabilities. Particularly yung hindi, maka, uh, hindi maka-afford no, magbayad ng physical therapy. No? Um, we wanted rehabilitation to be a uh, strong foundation uh, para makatayo ulit yung na uh, Uh, yung may mga nakapagpapad sa anong practically yung mga bata na uh, no, uh, who, who lost their limb mm-hmm. and uh, yung, yeah. alam mo yung, 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 yung process of, of losing some uh, of losing your body parts no? uh, yeah. we see it kasi uh, parang ah sige pal- bigyan na lang natin ng prosthesis okay na yan but it's 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 uh, hindi po yun eh that, mm-hmm. that's one part of uh, we wanted to be uh, we want to set up a resource center na we're in kung kailangan niya ng mentor, kailangan niya may kausap, uh, andun, andun, andun tayo. And uh, we also wanted to provide uh, support kung, for example, uh, uh, pag na-overcome na niya yung disability niya, he wanted to go back no? uh, to, to school mm-hmm. or, or look for employment to support his family. Mm-hmm. Uh, meron tayong ma- mag-set up no? uh, na programa para maging tulay no uh, sa pag-reintegration ng 
uh, ng mga ta- uh, mga Filipinos no with disabilities um, in terms of uh, the sport program naman uh, next year uh, uh, we will be racing in we will be competing for another world championship this one uh, wow. it's in Italy yes Italy wow. na po to. Uh, yes of the year uh, mga August uh, September to uh, August to September and then uh, we look, we're looking forward po na at least uh, to partner again with with uh, anyone uh, from the community uh, to support the team para uh, we will be able to compete and, and represent our country and uh, hopefully be able to uh, win no? in, in the competition Okay. Good luck, good luck sa iyo, Sir uh, JP and Sir uh, Ma'am City. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat sa inyo pong uh, pagiging panoy, mga panoyin sa umagang ito. More power po. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you po. Ma'am. Okay, Thank ayan. You, Thank you. Now, ako partner talaga namang uh, grabe, ano, yung sabi nga eh, uh, social responsibility ng uh, ating mga panoy. Para meron ka announcement, go ahead. Bago tayo magpaalam, partner Jojo. Yes, at dahil nakarinig po tayo ng mga inspiring stories from these young people, no, we are still opening the, I mean, we're still open in getting nominees for the CSR Youth Awards 2023. So, pwede po kayo mag-check out sa um, Facebook page ng BCY, BCY Foundation. So, it's BCY Foundation. So, pwede po yung puntahan. Check out the eligibility, the requirements and qualifications para po makasali kayo if that's you. And um, kumikilala kayo na sa ring kabataan I, I believe it's 18 to 39 mm-hmm. yan ang um, yan ang age ng kabataan for BCYF no mm-hmm. so pwede po kayo mag-submit and nominate someone for the CSR Youth Awards this year and it's ongoing now so bago po magsara ang nomination mag-submit na po kayo ng inyong requirements okay at abangan nila partner next week ulit ating magiging mga panauhin para naman sa ating uh, panibagong uh, episode. Maraming salamat, partner. Ayan, ako naman po ang inyong yes. uh, part, uh, ra- uh, radio man, Jenny Pahilanga. Yes, partner. At ako naman po si Jojo Armeta from BCYF. Nagpapasalamat po in behalf of the BCYF team no, sa patuloy niyong pag-support at pag-listen every Saturday dito sa aming programa. Maraming salamat. Abangan niyo po muli ang aming programang ito alas G's hanggang alas 11 ng umaga tuwing Sabado dito po sa RMND sa XL558 Manila. Hanggang sa Sabado, dito pa rin po sa programang Kwentong Bayani. Bayani.